back in LA again so I can cook something because I have a real kitchen. This week I'm going to do basically what, you know, I think every white guy or just like cooking person in America does, which is, you know, let me spend $50 to make a worse version of something I can buy from a restaurant at home. That this week is Japanese katsu curry. So I'm gonna be making curry, not from fucking scratch, but you know, scratch-ish. I'm gonna be frying chicken from scratch, cooking vegetables from scratch, slicing shit, doing all this other shit from scratch. So let's fucking get into it. All right, so we're gonna start by making a marinade for our chicken that we're gonna put in after we pound it out. A bunch of sriracha, a bunch of the Japanese barbecue sauce, good some gochujang which i need my other hand to use so i'm going to mix this together i cut the sides off a gallon bag so you can put your chicken up in it chicken thighs boneless skinless i'm gonna pound these flat so we can marinate them and get them ready for frying up faster than normal kind of pound them outward i only got one hand so i can't really do that but just don't make sure you don't punch through them hose pour your marinade up in the other gallon bag with your chicken close it up get all the air out slosh it around. Put the marinated chicken in a bag, put it in the fridge so it can stay cool. Oh shit, so it can stay cool. Hey Phil, we've got our veggies for the curry sauce. Got the carrots, I'm gonna show you how to cook these carrots faster than normal because usually they're way too crunchy. Got the onions, we're gonna saute those, those up normal. I was crying for like an hour when I was fucking cutting those. Oh, and we got this little baby cabbage. This thing is fucking so cute. We're gonna dress this with like a little miso vinaigrette situation, I think. It'll be good. Add some crunch and some like greenness to this pretty brown dish. We got the curry cubes. This is like a roux, so it'll tighten up the sauce. It's got all the seasoning in it. We're gonna be frying the chicken up in beef tallow today because besides what's already in this, no fucking seed oils. Microwave the carrots three and a half minutes and that'll like jump start their cooking. Lay Crusades out, we going crazy. This is the tallow, I'm gonna melt that. We're gonna fry in this. I got a little bit of tallow and a little bit of olive oil in the regular one over medium heat. I'm gonna add the onions, a big ass pinch of salt. Then let those cook down, get some color. Once those get a little bit of color, I'm gonna add the carrots. All right, this has been cooking for, I don't know, 10 minutes. I got all the uh, stuff breaded. It's sitting here chilling. That's going. Oil's getting hot. Need to add some water to this. Two and a quarter cups. I'm gonna turn it up to high. Let it come to a boil and then simmer it. I think it's like 15 minutes before I add the curry cubes. All right, the veggies are simmering. I'm gonna put them on a low-ish. Add the lid and let those go. It's at right about 350, I just tempt it. So I'm going to add my first cutlet. I added in my little nuggets. They're going. My first one. All right, here's what's gonna look like after like, I don't know, five or six minutes, you gotta flip it. Here's what the little nuggets look like. I was eating them, they were good. Mm -hmm. All right, the other one in here. I'm doing one at a time because it's so big, but you just don't want to cut the pan. Once it's starting to get gold at the bottom, that's when you want to flip them. You can always flip them back over if you feel like it's not getting enough, and this looks good. So, you know, just give them like, I don't know, a few minutes on each side so it looks right. All right, got the mandolin, got my gloves. I don't have a fingerprint right here because I fucked my shit up on the mandolin one time. We're going to slight run this cabbage through. And here's what the cabbage looks like. I'm not going to make the vinaigrette myself. So just put some miso vinaigrette on it. It'll be good. Here's what the cutlets look like done. You gotta salt them while they're hot. They're crispy. They're perfect. Veggies have been simmering for about 15 minutes. They're soft. You wanna start adding in the curry blocks. One at a time, kinda. It doesn't really matter. They come in five blocks. I did it for the whole package. Basically, just wanna stir these in. These become a roux. Um, once those dissolve and this comes back up to a boil and tightens up, we'll simmer this for about five minutes. Add a couple more things and we'll pretty much be done. Here we are, chicken katsu curry with Japanese curry, potatoes, miso cabbage salad, and sticky rice. I already know it's good, I've been eating the shit. I'm genuinely impressed with myself, which rarely happens because I know what the fuck I'm doing, but you know, sometimes you just gotta remind yourself that you do know that. It's delicious. I'm not gonna say you're saying it's nutritious, but it's fucking good and you know, live your fucking stolen valor, human made Nigo, curry up dreams, you know, pretend you fucking have a reason to actually go to Japan 
And I don't know, make this a home if you want to. It's not fucking rocket science. It took like an hour. It's not hard. Let's go.